Hiya, I'm Srini and I'm representing Team SNS. I really to thank Talis for giving me an opportunity to attend the workshop that they conducted about two weeks back. It was really fascinating and gave me a lot of good information about Arduino. Also, it was really fun and reminded me of my undergrad days wherein I used to uh, fiddle around with microcontrollers and microprocessors and sensors and motors and actuators and whatnot. Well, for the Talus Arduino competition, uh, we have decided to go with a hovercraft. Now, why a hovercraft? Well, a hovercraft is, a, is an amphibious vehicle that floats on cushion of air and it, it has very good application, especially in the military domain for transporting uh, troops, uh, essential life-saving equipments, medicines, weapons in some cases and also it it's the best and the most important feature about hovercraft is its amphibious capability that is it can go over land water ice snow almost any kind of a surface uh, which a normal vehicle cannot go hence it plays a really vital role in when it comes to military Well, this is a hovercraft and it's nicknamed Wally. Like all hovercraft, our hovercraft has two motors on board to provide the lift action and the thrust action. And these two motors are called the lift motor and the thrust motor. Here you can see this is the lift motor. The lift motor sucks air through this inlet manifold which is then compressed and forced to the base of the hovercraft where creates an air cushion and this air cushion is kept in place with the help of a skirt. Let me just flip the hovercraft and here you can see this is the bottom view of the hovercraft. So these are the inlet turbines which suck air and compress them and force them to the base and this cre creating an air cushion. This air cushion is kept in place with the help of the skirts and this is the thrust motor. Here you can see the thrust motor provides the necessary thrust to propel the hovercraft in the forward direction. In order to steer the hovercraft left or right, oh, we have placed the thrust motor on top of the servo motor. Here you can see. So in order to steer the hovercraft, all we do is we just provide some timing signals to the servo motor, which in turn cause the thrust motor to turn left or right and this concept is actually called the vector thrust and it's mainly used in uh, aircraft like FX-35, Joint Strike Fighters and whatnot. and on the front here you can see there's another servo motor this servo motor is called the payload servo motor this servo motor actually can be used for carrying uh, stuffs like a mine detection unit or a bomb detection unit uh, and once the craft reaches its destination by activating the servo motor we can just scan the area like this so if an area is found to be suspicious of a mine or a bomb then it can send signals back to the Arduino which in turn can process the data and also here we can mount a wireless camera or or just place a mobile phone or a wireless camera which can send a live video footage of like what's happening in the arena and we can even mount a sonar system since since it's a hovercraft it can go over water with great ease so by placing a sonar we can actually map the entire sea and in this case we have just mounted a, a torch which I got from the ECS department so here you can see I just turned on the torch and providing power uh, is by two LiPo batteries. Here you can see this is one LiPo battery and there's another LiPo battery below, below the Arduino board. And this is the Arduino board. This is the heart of the entire hovercraft. And there's a Bluetooth module. The function of this Bluetooth module is, is to uh, cap take the data from uh, from a mobile phone or a laptop 
and send it to the Arduino board where it's processed and provides the timing signal to control the lift motor, the thrust motor, the steering servo motor and the payload servo motor. And here, here you can see a pot. I'm sure it's very clear. Yeah, here you can see pot. This is a potentiometer or a pot. The potentiometer actually can be used to control the hovering action. The, uh, like can control the height of hovering. Well, that's a hovercraft. Now I'm going to power on the hovercraft. So, you just saw the servo spinning rapidly. So that is just a starting sequence which I have programmed into the Arduino to just make sure that all the both the servo motors are working fine and also the Arduino board is functioning. In case if the Arduino board fails or any one of the servo motors fail, so this wouldn't happen and I'll get it's easy for me to debug. Now I'm going to come over and demonstrate how to control this hovercraft from a laptop. For controlling the hovercraft from a laptop, what I do is I use a software called the MATLAB. So here you can see the screen of the MATLAB. Oh, let me just open the program. Okay, now that this program has been opened, so I'm just going to run this program now. So just, it takes a few amount of time to, for the uh, performing some kind of initial sequence. Ah, here you can see it's connected. So this is the control window. So uh, this is called the control square as well. So in order to control the <coughs> various uh, features of the hovercraft, all I have to do is take my cursor, here you can see the cursor, and move to the various box. In this box, it controls, it makes the servo uh, payload servo motor go left, and here it makes the uh, payload servo motor go right. And when the cursor is on this region, it causes the steering motor to go left, and when the cursor is here, it causes the steering motor to go right, and when the cursor is here, it causes the thrust motor to go uh, fast or slow. So let me just demonstrate. So. Here you can see this is the mouse which I'm using. So when I move when I move the mouse in this region, yeah, you can see the soul motor is turning. And same way it's turning in right. Just by controlling the mouse. Now I'm going to control the steering motor, left or right. You can see this steering motor turning left, now it's turning right. Now I'm going to turn on the thrust motor. This is the basic uh, functionality of the. Now I'm going to switch on the lift motor. Here you can see the hovercraft is actually hovering. Now I'm just going to give a little gently push the hovercraft to make it go forward. So here you saw the hovercraft turning.
the basic working of our hovercraft. So it responds pretty good to my uh, mouse movements. Uh, it has also features like uh, in case if the Bluetooth signal is lost, uh, which I'm going to demonstrate by closing the MATLAB window. Now, if the Bluetooth signal is lost, uh, what's going to happen is the hovercraft is going to shut down automatically. And after that, and I'm going to put a GPS module. So once uh, the signal is lost, the GPS module is going to take the signal. Now here you can see the craft is actually stopped and now uh, I'm going to integrate a GPS module after use the GPS module is going to act like a homing device which in turn will send a, a GPS uh, signal uh, uh, through to the laptop or a mobile using a GSM or uh, or GPRS technique and which in turn can be used to track the hovercraft. So here you have it our hovercraft. Uh, so this is what uh, we have come up for the Thales Arduino competition and best of luck to all other teams yeah thank you thank you so much for watching, watching the video and thank you Thales for giving me a chance to attend the workshop again see ya